today we play Best of One. The only one in Best of One. Not Virginia Taxes. Ta-da! You Orion! This is standard. Hello and welcome back to another day in the arena. It's me, it's CGB. Today in the arena, we are taking a look at another version of Infinite Agatha's Cauldron. This one was mono blue. So a brand new mono blue deck that got played at the World Championships by David Olson. And this deck is particularly, uh, let's just say it's surprising. It's kind of amazing all the things that an Agatha's Cauldron type deck or a Training Grounds deck can do. Let's take a look at Training Grounds. Activate abilities of creatures you control cost two less to activate. This effect can't reduce the mana to less than one mana. So with the combo in this deck is to go absolutely infinite is to take Omen Hawker, which taps for two mana to use only to activate abilities. By the way, going infinite in this case will not be infinite mana of any color like it is with Kami of Whispered Hopes in the other version. Check out my other video if you want to see that. Uh, this will be infinite mana that you can only use to activate abilities, and somehow that's okay. So Omen Hawker and Sleep Cursed Fey, when you have both of these, either one of them on the battlefield with a counter and a cauldron, or both of them exiled with a cauldron and a creature with a counter, I'm sure you followed all that. Uh, what you have is infinite tap untap because it's paid two to untap it. It taps for two. When you throw in training grounds, the activation becomes one cheaper and now you have infinite mana to use to activate abilities. The mana can be any color as long as you have a soul's cauldron that is allowing this to happen because that's part of the text on soul's cauldron that people often forget, which is why you can exile a realm scorcher height Hellkite from your graveyard and use that infinite mana outlet for abilities to ping your opponent in the face 20 or more times to win the game. That's why we've got a Hellkite that we literally don't even cast. Uh, the rest of the deck, though, how do you get to it? How do you find your one of Hellkite? How do you make these things happen? Rona is a pretty sweet ability. You can tap all that infinite mana and then pump it back in to untap your Ronified creature and then tap it to draw a discard to get your way through the deck. The other ability that it makes cheaper is transforming it into the Obliterator. This actually costs less mana if you have Training Grounds, which is kind of sick for a beatdown plan, which comes up more than you think it should. The other card is Grifter. Grifter, once, once you have a Training Grounds... <coughs> voice, why? Once you have a Training Grounds, the Grifter connives for just one mana. And that is a lot more powerful than you think, especially if you had, say, a turn one Omen Hawker and a turn two training ground grifter, meaning you can connive twice the turn you play this, which means it's already a three, four and growing. Let's just say mono red doesn't quite know what to do against such a start. And Surge Engine is in there, I think mostly because you can just go on the beatdown plan. This card with Training Grounds is an absolute house as you get to level up its abilities for much cheaper. So it's a really sweet deck and it's a really different approach to the Cauldron combo. And I found it surprisingly good. For those of you hitting Craft All without paying attention, make sure you check out the sideboard. It's also there for those of you maniacs who might want to engage in some best of three shenanigans. Now, Let's thank our sponsors for the video, Moxfield, CoolStuffInc.com. Appreciate you both. Check out the new Dino Playmat, CGB Playmat, at CoolStuffInc.com slash CGB, Covert Go Blue HQ. Link, you know, below in description, ads later in channel. That's a pretty cool thing that's happening. And now let's dive in and let this nonsense begin. New discoveries await as we venture down into the Lost Caverns of Ixalan. All pre-orders come bundled with a brand new exclusive Covert Go Blue Dinosaur Token. Every single sealed product, commander deck, bundle, everything that's coming with the new set gets upgraded with a new Covert Go Blue token for free. Get your pre-orders in and see what awaits at the center of Ixalan. CoolStuffInc.com. Cool stuff in stock. On the play with a Sleep Cursed Fey. We've even got the Cauldron in hand. This hand is just sweet, right? What do we need? We need an Omen Hawker in the graveyard, I believe, is how it all works. Am I supposed to play this on turn one? I honestly don't know. Eh, eh, I'm gonna do it. 
I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna play the Sleep Curse Fae. I know we can put in the graveyard with the Rona, but the Rona might not live. Okay. What do I do now? It's just too many options. All right, Rona, because it might give us another cauldron trigger whenever you cast a legendary spell like Agatha's cauldron is. Whoa, what the heck are they doing? Draw a discard. Omen Hawker into graveyard, right? I mean, if I untap this, we're kind of there, but we don't want the opponent to know that. Am I just going to do this? Let's see. Next turn, I give it that ability. It doesn't have the Rona ability, though. Huh. But we might get it in the graveyard. Like, we remove a counter, we consider... Okay, we pass. We pass, we pass. We're cool, we're cool. This is fine. I know how my cards work. Right? Right? Ow. They're doing it too! Maybe. This might just be a plus one, plus one counter deck. All right, counter. Because training grounds, it only costs one. Consider. Grifter is, we need this in the graveyard? We do, okay. Engine, untap, draw discard. Land. Cauldron. Untap. Draw a discard. Uh... Exile the Hawker. Put a counter here. I'm doing it! Look, Ma! I'm doing it! Or am I? But I just... Oh, okay, it froze. For a second. Alright. Uh, 2xB gang, come on, baby. Um, my god. I have demonstrated a loop, but how long are we actually going to be here? So we have to generate all this mana. Then, after we generate a few million mana, we have to play the cauldron. Then we exile the Omen Hawker so that we can actually connive our deck, right? And the problem with that is that we lose the ability to do this when we play the other cauldron, which means that we can no longer make mana at that point. So we have to make all this mana first, and then we have to connive our deck, which is probably fine. <laughs> Uh, actually, probably not fine. I don't think I can generate enough mana to get there. Because it's going to take so much mana. I guess every one mana is a connive. Maybe I can do it. How much mana is it going to take? Like 20 some, right? It's going to take like 20 some. And then when I... No, when I discard lands, I don't get counters. That's the problem. So I need more than 20. 60 would be very safe. It has to be at least the number of cards in my deck, right? 45. If I can get to if I can get to 30, it should be fine. It's the number of cards in my deck minus the number of lands in my deck, which was 19. Like there's a technically correct answer, but I think we're gonna get there. We do have to pay two for the cauldron. Forty is for sure enough. But trying to think of it and do all the math in my head while doing this, while talking to you, is a little bit hard. Anyway, if you find the technically correct number, taking into account the two mana to play the cauldron, the number of lands currently in my deck, and the amount of damage needed for lethal off the connive triggers, go ahead and post it in the comments. That means you're smart and very, very impressive. We're all gonna say your brain is probably the greatest thing we've ever seen in the history of time, and we're probably going to put you in charge of the space program. All right, new 
cauldron. Keep this one. Exile the grifter. Counter. I guess we can put a counter here now. And then they would both have the abilities. Not that it's necessary, though. Connive. And it's one mana each. Going with a GG. Was this a turn four kill? This was a turn four kill. Woo -woo. Go baby, go baby, go baby, go baby, go. Well, I'm glad we aren't getting arenaed out. It looks like we're gonna make it. Oh, there's uh, other, the other way to win is to exile that card with a cauldron. But we also reveal here that we don't need it. Good old combat damage if you get down a turn one sleep curse fake and do the job. Definitely not the cleanest lethal in the deck, but we found an interesting one for our first time going off. So it's nice to know that you aren't reliant on exactly one way of comboing. Kaka! That's a big bird. And that's the dub. Thank you very much to Lenzior for sitting through that. Shout out in the comments if you're here. I mean, my hand hurts, but we'll still give it a smile because it's magic. Okay, this hand has no cauldron. It does have a make disappear, but it's on the draw, which might be too slow. Still, I'm still figuring out exactly how. Yep. Why, why did I draw you just now? What are you doing here? Get out of my hand. Hopefully Rona lives. It'd be very sad if it doesn't. It's sad. But there's the cauldron. Perfect. Okay. What do you think? Do we play the cauldron or do we counter their next move and get the Fey untapped? If they blow up this cauldron, it kind of ruins a lot of things. Eh. No fear. We got a wedding announcement. Good old mid range. All right, training grounds. Now we need it to tap for mana. So we need an omen hawker right here. It's a grifter. So now one mana connive is on the table. Interesting. But we have a make disappear. So if they try to remove this and pay the ward, we can stop them. Coward. Oh, do we crack this clue? Do we connive? They might have a wandering emperor, but they can't pay the ward cost. I think if we're patient, we can't lose. I think if we tap mana here and they play another Fateful Absence, that's how we lose this game. Still gotta get this in the graveyard somehow. All right. Connect. Knife. No omen hawkings? Okay. Might need another creature. Hit 
Okay, Wandering Emperor. Gotta do this. They can't exile it with Ward this turn, but they can untap and do it. Elspeth. All right, lots of tokens going on. I am a shining blaze in the dark. Uh, I will block. You need a card? All right, it's got to be this turn. We've got to find an Omen Hawker for the infinite mana, and we have everything set up. Ooh. Draw three cards. Okay. Uh, let's... Connive. Connive. Come on, baby. Where are you at? Where are you? They are at 14. Can I get there? There you go. I'm starting to think we might have to get there the hard way. Oh, look at all these abilities. It's too much. You're too much. You have too many abilities. And I have demonstrated a loop and I can Hellkite ping you or attack you and you die. Ooh, cauldrons in hand. We keep and we're on the play. We have a chance. I love this for us. Here's an Omen Hawker. Here's an engine. I think we just try to beat them down early. I think that's the plan. They got to cut down. I have to choose what to do with it. Big brain. What do you do? What does one do with such a decision? Yeah, that'll show them. The Fae. All right. Play this. Let's put counter XL you counter here. Let's go. Loses Defender. Smork him. <laughs> Happy to know, but I'm taking Boring. One of your friends has to leave. So where are we going to get the training grounds? We've got an Omen Hawker. Do we get rid of this? Put this here. And we do that. I guess we consider. Just need a training grounds, right? <laughs> we all have things we want. What you got? A virtue. Okay. That's in the graveyard. Fine with me. Do you also have removal for the cauldron? No, you got some creature. Graveyard. Where's your stun counters? I, I can't tell. There's two stun counters. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. The other question is, like, I can do this. They have a Liliana, so I need something to sacrifice, right? And then I can put mana into untapping this. You failed to entertain me. Nothing more. <sighs> Sacrifices must be made. No, the skitter. Okay, let's see what they target. That's why we held up the cauldron. It's okay. Target. I have a response.
Look at all my abilities. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. Come on, come on, come on, baby. Let's get there. Sleight of hand. What does it have to be? Training grounds, right? Cross your fingers. Not there. There. But we have another creature we can play, which is huge against a Liliana, right? So we got to do that. All right, they've got six mana. No, come on. Okay, okay, okay. That's why we did it. That's why we did it. This is my home, and I don't uh -huh. wish to people touch my things. Ah, one of your friends has to leave. Target. Consider. It's fine. They just wanted the, the great vibes of exiling something. All right, untap. Lock. Skitter. The greatest sleep curse fay of all time, everybody. We can tap it for, we can either draw a discard a card or we can tap it for two mana and start leveling the engine. I think, I mean, draw a discard doesn't, no, it does, right? No, we need a training grounds. That's the thing. Training grounds in the graveyard doesn't help us. So we may as well do this. We can do it again, <laughs> lol. Mmm. So close, so close. We can give it base power and toughness 5-4. We can kill the Liliana. We don't have another creature if they top deck another Liliana. It's very scary. We also just have this 6-6 six -six that can keep growing. Like we can hit them for eight, nine? And then they're dead next turn. They can attack me back for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm at 11. Ooh. Ooh. That's so close. Do we just go for it? If they just draw another Lily or a removal spell or something like that. We're in big trouble. They also can draw land and make food, but I think we can overcome that. We can also untap the fate of block. Just good old fashioned racing. Might get it done. Discard. It's a dread night. You won't be outsmarting me. Flunk. Never didn't have it. You don't need the combo. You just absolutely beat them to death. That's kind of insane. On the play, we have the cauldron. I think that's all you need. We will consider and keep the opponent on their toes. 
Shipwreck Marsh. Interaction. The deck. Sure. More cantrips. Can't can't hurt. Sleep Cursed Fey or Surge Engine. Man, I don't know what to do on turn two. Am I supposed to get down the cauldron so it doesn't get countered? Am I supposed to get this ticking so that they're under pressure? I think I like this. And then we can keep trying to hit our land drops with the consider. Land. Land. Thank you. Tick tock. Play around make disappear. Damn. Wait. Okay. I pay. Nice. They must have a few make disappears if they're willing to do that. Sure. Ooh, we drew the land. That is excellent. Good setup. Good setup. Need an Omen Hawker for the infinity. Um, opponent? Check on ya. Got him. <laughs> Easy. Loses defender. 5 4 E. Almost can do that. Unbelievable. Uh, I guess I can grift him. Yeah, another cut down there, buddy. Go for the throat. Okay. This one's an artifact creature, so ta-da. What's under this already? A sleep cursed fay. Raw. Seven six can't be blocked. <laughs> what? What you gonna do? What you gonna do about it? Huh? What do you got? Omen Hawker. What do I get in the graveyard? Just cast it. They'll kill it. <laughs> they have so far. I'm gonna dig a little. Nope. Not you. Uh, Slight. Feeling slighted? I'll take the land. Oh wait, this has connive, doesn't it? We're good. I forget how magic cards work. This is part of part of my charm, I think, as a creator, probably. That I don't know what any of my cards do at any time. Did we do it? I mean, too many abilities, right? Ah, yeah! That's that's mana positive, baby. We gotta scroll every time. I hate this, kind of. Yay for scroll. Interface designed for cauldron combo. I mean, if they don't have a way to kill it, they're just dead, right? Let's... I mean, maybe they don't know. Let's try to show them. Like, see? I can do that. And I can... Keep doing it. Like that. I mean, I, I, I am sus. I, I sus that they are, like, lining me up for something in combat, right? Because they haven't conceded. They didn't have anything last turn, but they could conceivably have something. So I feel like they're... The fact that they aren't leaving... Is a sign that we should be more careful and not just attack them. 
Oh. That's... <laughs> okay. Never mind. We take those. Sleep Curse Fae Cauldron. Let's go. Raw. Do you have a one of card in your deck that you can't actually cast? You will draw it early in every game. Thalia is here. I don't think I get anything out of playing Cauldron this turn. Let's play Rona. Guardian of New Benalia. That's not a Thalia. Nice. Consider. Will we draw land? I have to try. Come on, land. Come on. That is not it. Untap. Draw. Land. Land? Yeah! Who's the man? I mean, does this have to be a witness protection? I don't know if it does, but it will slow down the clock considerably, so let's go for it. You. <laughs> You're not a human. You're a citizen. There's a difference. Nice try, nerd. Mana does one damage to any target. If only I'd drawn one more land. This can untap. Let's go here. Um, how good are we? They can't attack on this board. I think we take this and pass. Okay. They need a way to make everything a little bit bigger and stronger. Ooh, I think they're conniving. They are. Okay. So, we go like this. Casualty. Sacrifice. Dig, grift these. Um, oh, what do I need? I need training grounds. I need training grounds and Omen Hawker. Having another body though, pretty important. Another cauldron. I mean, can I beat a white aggro deck, right? It's an important, important step. Have to be able to actually win some of these. Zap this or untap. E. Hold on to your butts. No! No! Uh. 
untapping it digs a little more. I think we have to dig. It's okay. That's why we had another creature in play. We do gain the life, which that might be really helpful. Can't believe they're still running lay down arms. Ossification has kind of taken over that spot. One card left. Still at 20. They have been stifled, stymied. They just cannot attack me. We dig. Still need training ground, still need Omen Hawker. Mm, nope. Training grounds. Still need Omen Hawker. But we need it in the graveyard. So it's much better to connive, right? Not a hit. That's too bad I can't cast that this turn. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. It's not it. One more shot. One opportunity. Capture everything you wanted. Not quite. All right, hold on to your butts. If they remove this, oh, are we screwed. So hopeful, so initiate. But they never train, do they? And they're passing. Hawker, where are you at? Come on. Come on. I mean, eventually we're going to get pretty ripped. Look at all these freaking skills I have. Um, make it a 5-4 and then make it draw 3. What's the exact reading on this card for the draw 3 side? Where, where's my search engine? Draw 3 cards only if it is blue and only once. Well, it's blue. I would need one more mana. All right. Knife. We keep going. Come on. Well, we could have double training grounds, but then we're just down a card in hand, and I, I don't know. I mean, that's a play we could make. I, I like this better. We get more shots. More shots on goal. You know what I mean? I mean, we've we've got them. They 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 are they're not able to attack me anyway until they figure out how their scrawl works. So training ground says this ability can't reduce the effect to less than one mana. So there's no way to just connive our deck by having double training grounds. That's that is a myth. It doesn't exist. It's not real. Uh, we already have a sleep curse fate exiled. Let's go for the night. And let's Rona. 
because even in the, the graveyard is perfectly acceptable if we hit. <gasps> it was there. Oh, oh, I see. Now they want to play. Now all of the Omen Hawkers going to come out and play. I see. All right. Infinite mana, unblockability, all those things. They both have all this. Ugh. Tap. Ugh. Tap. Untap. All right, this, this is a little complicated. Untap. No big deal. I'll get the I'll get the rhythm down and Han Solo will get bored. They play mono white, so obviously they're not bored easily, but we can do it. I believe in us. That's what we are here to do. Red Woodman. I wonder what they play. Well, at least we're going first and we do have the training grounds and the make disappear. All right, no cauldron. We're just going to have to make a giant grifter. No big deal. Scamp. Yep, here comes Monored. Ah, cauldron. Life is good. And there, we we can get grift twice already. <laughs> they don't know. They don't know. Don't nobody tell them. Nobody tell them. Nobody tell them, guys. New information coming now to a mono red near you. <laughs> I guess they can do this, right? But if they do, it's fine. <laughs> it's totally fine because we can give out the ability of the cult uh, with the cauldron and just do some more. So we don't care. See if they target this again. Do it. Lightning strike it. I dare you. Lightning strike it. You coward. They're totally going to. I I can tell. <laughs> you can't make this up. You can't make this up. This is mono red. They play mono red, mono red, mono red. Never learned how a magic card worked in their life. And you know what? It's fine. It's totally fine. <laughs> if it's not a red card, they have no idea. <laughs> um, take five. Show us your next trick. My draw is my draw is pretty funny. Let's let's be real. All right. Oh. Oh. Who dis? Who dis? Monored, I'm going to show you all the possibilities that blue cards have. I'm going to blow your freaking mind right now. You think they're going to stick around for this? Don't they have, like, some direct damage to deal elsewhere? Surely. Surely they got somewhere to be. Uh, 
Uh, untap. Now we just have to connive both of them into large enough to attack for lethal so that the block won't save them. Oops, all cauldrons. Shuffler's fine. They're like, mm, still don't get it. Still not sure if I'm dead here. Dun, 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 dun. Getting there. Oh, wait. That'll do too. So. Do, 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 do. Whoa. Why is everything tricksy? It's like the, the server is lagging. The server is confused. Oh, I'm sorry, Mono Red. Am I not doing enough fast things for you? By the way, these are abilities, so we can use the mana for it. We can also uh, have a trampler if we want to. You know, just to flex on him a little. Smash. I don't mind. I don't mind one bit. And we are back for the post-game wraps, and you can check out the stats on untap.gg. A link to my profile is in my description always, so you can see how these decks did. This one did surprisingly well. I went 6-3 and three in Mythic with the deck. I had a 100% win rate on the play and a 25% win rate on the draw. So that's like 1-4 and four on the play and 5-0, and oh, or 5-0 and oh on the play, 1-3. and three on the draw and i was surprised i thought the deck would be more fragile but the deck can present wins very early uh like uh like turn four you can just be going off which is usually one turn too fast for mono red to kill you when they're gold fishing usually and it is a hard deck to play against i made some misplays when i've played against this deck on ladder because it's easy to forget about grifter omen hawker what's exile with cauldron and all the things that it does so it catches toilet gamers by surprise uh, th the one thing that is a little scary i think you run a low land count for a good reason and i think that that's decent in best of one because the hand smoothing algorithm is going to really steer you towards a two land hand but sometimes you cast your consider and you cast your sleight of hand and you never find that third land and then you lose so i am tempted to try to get one more land into the deck not sure if we actually need the spell pierce the make disappear i almost feel like they're filling in slots in the deck that they're not sure how to otherwise fill also there will definitely be games where your cauldron is just in the bottom half of your deck and there's not a lot you can do about that unless you have a really busted training ground surge engine kind of start but i love the consistency of this deck this might be the best version if you enjoy the cauldron combo this might be the best version of this deck for best of one just because it's one color and it's very fast and can be very efficient so i would encourage giving this this one more research if you are into combo style decks i think that this one does a good job thanks for staying till the end that really supports the channel and is among the best things that you can do but you can top it off and really help out by hitting like and subscribe those go a long way to helping other people like find the channel through the algorithm and getting more people into what we do here which is try to keep magic the gathering fun put in the fun in best of one i should put that on a t-shirt after that some cool things you can do for the channel is check out our sponsors moxfield cool stuff inc ultimate guard i'll have a link coming soon probably by the time you are watching this video there'll be a link in the description for ultimate guard which i'm happy to be sponsored by we'll have some new ads coming for them soon and check out the new Covert Go Blue Dragon Rider Playmat, which is available for pre-order coming out in ixalan at Covert Go Blue 
uh, HQ, which is at coolstuffinc.com slash CGB. All right. Thank you for watching this video. As always, I'll see you in the next video. You're cool. Command Fest Orlando is coming October 20th to 22nd. So get ready for a weekend full of Magic the Gathering in one of the country's premier vacation destinations. Get your tickets now at commandfestorlando.com.